Hey guys, welcome back to your second Python programming adventure. Today we're going to be going over variables. Now you probably know what a variable is. Uh, if you don't know, it's basically you give the computer uh, a name or a letter or anything really. And then you give it, you set a value to it. Now to go, to basically just to get started with the variables, we're going to create a variable. Now this variable, it can be named anything. It can be named 45, it can be named Joe. It doesn't matter. Uh, just for tutorial sake, we're going to name this var, uh, or var, and that's going to stand for our variable. Eh, never mind, we're going to name it Bob. Alright, now Bob, it can be either equal to a string, and if you, a string is basically, it's a string of text. Now, if you have a line of text, it's called a string. That's just so you know, alright? Uh, but it can also be set to a value of a uh, number or an integer. Now to set, okay, so right now we have Bob equals the integer 45. Now, just like every other programming language and just like how you read, you read usually from top to bottom. Um, I don't know when, it, when other times you would read from bottom up, but it doesn't matter. All right, so the computer reads from top to bottom. So the computer's first gonna read, okay, Bob is equal to 45. Now, if we're gonna print Bob, all you have to do is print parentheses Bob. All right, and that'll print Bob. So instead of it won't print Bob. What am I saying here? It's going to print the integer 45 because that's what we set Bob to. So you can see we can run it and save the changes, and you can see it prints out 45. All right, so if we're going to set Bob equal to hold on, that was really weird. A string of text. We can just you know basically hi. I'm Bob. Alright, now Bob is going to be set to Hi, I'm Bob. So now we're going to print out Hi, I'm Bob. Alright. Uh, like I was saying, uh, since I just deleted my variable, Bob equals 45. We're going to put it back at 45. So since the computer reads from top to bottom, if you have print, we're just going to do la, d, da to show like, okay, time is passing. Alright, the computer is going to first read Bob is equal to 45 and then print Bob. So it's going to print 45, and then it's going to print la di da. Just ignore that. Um, now, if we set Bob is equal now to 40, or we'll do 50, uh, and we print Bob, it's not going to print 45, but instead it's going to print 50, which that's pretty much common sense. You can see 45 la di da 50. Um, moving on, uh, if we were going to set, we can set a variable as a letter. And of string of text and we'll just name X is equal to Luke my name now this is getting cool to add a variable to a string of text it's very basic what you do is you print out whatever you want to say like hi my name is space and now if we want to print out X or Luke instead of having to type out Luke's all, Luke all you have to do is plus X outside of your quotation marks and you're gonna see it's going to print out, hi, my name is Luke. See? Hi, my name is Luke. Alright, so that is basically the gist of variables. Make sure to subscribe, comment if you have any questions, like the video, and I will see you guys in tutorial 3.